resistance offered by a conductor varies with different parameters and let's take a look at this in detail. Resistance increases with increase in length. This can be visualized in the following way. Let's take two different lengths. It's easier to cross this much length and it is more stressful to cross more length and hence more is the resistance. So longer the length, greater it is a challenge for electrons to keep moving. So next parameter is the cross section. More the cross section, easier it is for the electrons to move and lesser is the resistance. When we look at these two scenarios here, it will be difficult for electrons to cross in the small cross sectional area whereas it will be easier to flow in a bigger cross section. The third parameter depends on what kind of material it is whether the nucleus allows electrons to participate in conduction or all the electrons are held tightly by the nucleus. So now we have seen that resistance is directly proportional to the length whereas it is inversely proportional to the area. So this proportionality constant is called as resistivity and it depends on each material. SI unit of this resistivity is ohm meter. Now let's look at the resistivity of different materials. Metals and alloys which conduct electricity very easily have very low resistivity that is in the range of 10 power minus 8 to 10 power minus 6 ohm meter. This means it can conduct electricity easily. On the other hand, insulators are those which will not conduct electricity and they have very high resistivity in the range of 10 power 12 to 10 power 17 ohm meter. Pure metals like copper, aluminium are used in the conduction of electricity for this very reason of having low resistivity. Alloys which is a mixture of one or more metals generally have higher resistivity than their constituent metal. Alloys do not oxidize at high temperature like metals and this is the reason alloys are used in heating devices like electric iron, toaster etc.